Hello, I'm Eric Carlin. I'm the undergraduate vice chair in the Department of Mathematics at Rutgers University, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about our department and our programs in mathematics for undergraduates. It's a very large department. Over 20,000 people take a course from us in fall, spring, and summer. Now, many of these people are taking math courses to satisfy requirements in their major and to fulfill prerequisites for the many courses and other majors that require mathematics. But we still do have over 100 students per year who major in mathematics and even more who do a minor in mathematics. People have studied mathematics for a long time, and in particular the study of Euclid's elements was an almost uninterrupted 2,000-year-old tradition. People did this for many reasons, and not because they were necessarily going to do calculations in geometry themselves, but because they were interested in sharpening their mind and making a, getting a better understanding of what truth was and how one could know something is true and how one could convince another person that it was true. Indeed, one of the eminent mathematicians from the 1600s, Pierre de Fermat, is also well known as a philosopher, and he's the author in mathematics of the famous Fermat's Last Theorem that you may have heard of, which says that if you take x to the p plus y to the p equals z to the p, if p is bigger than 2, if p is an integer other than 2, there are no integer solutions of this. For p equals 2, of course, one has the famous Pythagorean triples that people have been interested in as long as history has been recorded. Okay? This theorem was eventually proved in a multi-generational quest, starting from Fermat's assertion that he had a proof that was too long to write down, and this is one kind of mathematics. Okay? For, uh, Pierre de Fermat, though, despite his many contributions to mathematics and philosophy, He's known by the quote, I think, therefore I am, and is quite famous as a philosopher too. His main daytime job was as a judge. Okay? He studied mathematics to sharpen his mind and to get a better grasp on logic, and is the person who invented the method of proof by contradiction, in fact. Okay? So there's this long tradition, and I myself came to mathematics because when I was an undergraduate at the University of Virginia, a math major was the best way to get into Harvard Law School at that time. That is, among people who applied to Harvard Law School, those who were math majors had the highest acceptance rate. Once I got into studying mathematics there, I never turned back and found it much more interesting than possibly going to law school. But that said, that aside, people have studied mathematics for all kinds of reasons since antiquity. These days, with mathematics being used to calculate ever more, many more things, to run algorithms that run our huge communication networks, everything. There's so much more use of mathematics in every kind of mathematics. Mathematics that used to be considered completely pure is now applied. Okay? Number theory was once considered completely pure mathematics. Now it's the basis of many important algorithms and methods in cryptography. Okay? So for that reason, lots and lots of methods to, to, to study mathematics leaves you a wide, wide range of things you can possibly you could study, and a very wide range of careers that you could go into afterwards. The math department has a page on careers in mathematics that will give you more information about the range of these careers. Okay? But because mathematics encompasses such a wide range of possible investigations, from the very pure to the very applied, although the borderlines between those are changing. We offer a large number of courses, over three dozen advanced undergraduate courses each year, and many of our most advanced undergraduates go on and take graduate courses while they are still undergraduates to get them on a fast track to research. Okay, So in addition to the regular major program that we have, which is, again, very flexible, it has many more electives in it than other majors because of the wide range of different focuses one can have in pursuing mathematics even at the undergraduate level. Okay. We have several specialized programs. There is a program in actuarial mathematics, which is designed to get students ready for at least three of the tests that are required for certification as to work as an actuary. We also have a program in biomathematics. Biology is another one of these subjects that has become more and more mathematical in the past decades. And now the kinds of mathematics that are used in biological investigation, from going into protein folding to questions of population biology, 
are, are, are very sophisticated and the interface between mathematics and biology is one of the most interesting things for, for many young people going into a scientific career right now. So they, hence we have a separate program in that. We also have several programs that are five-year programs which lead that are BA and MA. One of these is a teaching program, one goes into mathematical finance, another is in industrial and systems engineering, and finally there's a program like this in statistics. Okay, there's also an interdisciplinary four-year program in statistics. We have an honors program which is open to students by the application, and the applications are reviewed each year. Students performing well enough go into this. There are special courses for the honors program, and students who complete the requirements along the lines of the honors program are eligible for a Bachelor of Science degree in addition to the regular major, pro major which leads to a Bachelor of Arts degree. Okay. So there are many opportunities for research for undergraduates at, at Rutgers. Again, it's a very large university, so there are many, many faculty. Most of these faculty members are very eager to take on an undergraduate student who has special interest and conduct a reading course for them. And I did this myself when I was at University of Virginia after I had exhausted some of the undergraduate courses, and this was my own route to getting accelerated, ready for, ready, introduced to what mathematical research was as an under, undergraduate. That's easy to do here, in addition to the many programs that we offer over the summer with REUs and so forth. So there are lots and lots of opportunities. There are many, many careers that one can go into studying mathematics at Rutgers, and I think it's an ideal place to do that. People go on to, from, from our math majors at last year's honors luncheon, I was sitting at a table with a number of our majors. They were going to good graduate schools in various different topics, robotics, computer science, mathematics also. And we send each year people to some of the best graduate schools in the country in mathematics and in other, other subjects. And Rutgers is certainly a place that you can launch a successful career based on mathematics. And if you have further questions on how to do that, please don't hesitate to contact the department. Uh, we've provided along with this some, in, some information in our departmental brochure, and our website has many, many pages, but you can contact the undergraduate math office and our advising department at advisor at math.rutgers.edu, and we'll be very glad to tell you more. Thank you very much for your interest, and I hope to see you.